Hey students in CRST 151, um, Christian thought or Christian thinking, as I've been saying. Okay, I, I hope you're doing well. Um, I have a prayer request and then just a quick observation on your um, work that you did on the, uh, the video about the philosopher and the scientist. So first, prayer request. Uh, an MPhil student who's an FC grad who went through um, our Christian studies program, Masood Masi, his father died this week. And I'd ask you to pray for Masood that God would bring him comfort and encouragement and minister to his family. And so if you, Masood Masi, I would appreciate that. Okay, number two. Um, just an observation. Uh, I had a lot of good answers. And in fact, all the answers were good, but um, not all the answers got perfect scores. But there were a lot of good answers. So I want to uh, observe three different things just so that you'll just catch this. Number one, um, if there's a minimum on the word, just make sure you have at least that number. If it's 150, then have, have 150 words. And so you'll just have to count the words, you know, like copy and paste it into Word and then see how many words it is and then put it in the thing. So that, that's the first thing. So number two, um, God's infinite nature. All right, so just so why is it important if a scientist or anybody says, well, I don't believe in God, for you to say, well, what do you mean by God? Well, the answer is, well, several, several of you got it right, 100% right. Some of you got lots of good stuff, but not 100% right. So let, let me just clear it up so you understand. It's important because if this person doesn't believe that God is without limit, then if you, you know, argue from the fact that God is without limit, they won't understand you. And if this person says, well, the God that I don't believe in um, is not, um, did not create time and space, or doesn't dwell in his own existence, you go, well, then we have nothing to talk about, because the God that I believe in does exist in his own dimension of existence. And, and I can't explain anything to you about the God I believe in if you reject talking about that God. And so if a person's trying for you, if the person believes B about God, and that has nothing to do with the Christian definition of what God is like, then no matter what you say, they're not going to be listening because they want you to explain in terms of B, and you don't believe in B, your God is A, your God is without limit to do wells in his own existence, created time and space. And so that is going to make a big difference in your discussions with people about people who say they don't believe in God. And so you just have to make sure they understand your definition of God first. If they say, well, you know, my God is like a human being. He has a body. You go, well, I really can't speak about the God, that this God you're talking about, because you're, you don't believe in that God, and neither do I. <laughs> so we agree. So a person says, I don't believe in God because the God that I don't believe in has a body and dwells on a planet. Well, you say, well, I don't believe in that God either, you know, because that God's fake. So see, it's really important that you and that person are talking about the same thing. All right, three. Um, why is it silly for someone to say, well, obviously God had a beginning. Who created God? And the answer is, well, if God created time, then before God created this dimension of existence that we live in, which includes time and space and matter, it, before God created this dimension, there was no time. So there was no before. And if there's no before, there's no beginning. There's no middle. See, see, in, in God's dimension, there is no such thing as time, and therefore you can't talk about, oh, well, who created God? Well, there is no th such thing as creating until God created the universe and this dimension. And so there is no beginning in God's dimension. There's no end in God's dimension. There's no middle in God's dimension. It's truly his own dimension, okay? So a lot of you, kind of close, 
but you didn't get full credit because you didn't catch this part that God created time. And if God created time, then everything changes, okay? I hope this all makes sense. Have a great weekend. God bless you. Stay healthy and safe. God bless.